What's up guys? So exciting new thing for my truck today. It came in the mail yesterday. I'm going to be installing it today. And what I believe is very essential to anybody who tows something pretty much every day like I do or very often like every other weekend or every weekend or if you just want your truck to look cool, they are tow mirrors. Now, these are not OEM. I got these online. They are an off brand. I don't know what brand they are actually, but they are a US seller. And I went with the manual slide out, so manual extend and manual fold, and power and heated glass. The reason I went with that is because the mirrors I have already on my truck are the same thing. They're powerful or they're manual fold with power glass and they're also heated. So to do this, we're gonna start on the passenger side. Driver's side is gonna be the same way. So I'm just gonna do the passenger side for you guys. And to do this, we gotta pop this out, pop this guy out, like this little plastic thing in here. There's gonna be a bolt here, a bolt here. Same thing in here, pop this little plastic out. There's gonna be a bolt in there. And then we just gotta get this one and this one and then door panel slides right off. So let me get to it. All right, so I just got the little panel off in here off and I just took this off. It's got two metal clips holding it in here and here. Now, you're gonna have to use a little bit of force, but otherwise, that's not a big issue. And then the clips here, all you gotta do is push the little tab and they slide right out and then this is out of your way. So let's put that aside and continue working on. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, because the door handle has a cable attached to it, there's going to be a blue clip that you're going to want to squeeze with pliers, and it's going to slide out, tor out towards this way, and you're going to undo the cable so it comes off. This way, the whole door panel is off of the truck. So let's set this aside and continue on. Now, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is peel back this rubber plastic membrane thingy. Like my technical terms, so do I. Now, next thing you gotta do is, if you have power mirrors, or if you have manual mirrors, you probably don't have this wire, but if you have power mirrors, there's gonna be a little tab right here. You push it and this slides right out. Now, this looks like the same connector as my new mirror, so I'm gonna go grab my new mirror and check it before I even take that off. All right, so that fits. Let's take off the old one and put on the new one. There was a horse fly in my truck. I did not want it here. It had to go. Now make sure to hold the mirror from the other side as you're taking off the last bolt. I took off the bottom two and just loosened the top one. But it looks like it'll hold. Alright, the old mirror is off. This little dinky one that I think is pointless for any big truck is gone. So let's go put on the new one and see how it looks. Now, 
normally I would be using my 10 millimeter deep socket for a 10 millimeter nut, but I lost it a long time ago and I never replaced it because I was hoping I was going to find it just like I, when I lost my 10 millimeter short socket. Lost it. Found it again. So, yeah. I'm hoping it turns up. Alright, the mirror is officially bolted on. All we gotta do is plug it in and put the panel back together. Alright, that's plugged in. Oh man, that looks really good. Now before I actually put everything together, and something I would suggest you guys to do, I think it will still work without me having this side plugged in, but I'm going to maybe just plug it in if anything. I'm going to turn the truck to the on position and test the mirror out to make sure it all functions just in case I need to return it or anything doesn't function like the turn signal LED, the puddle light on it, and the power mirror itself. So I'm going to go do that now and then we'll put the panel back on. All right, it all works, so does the puddle light. So let's put it all back together, shall we? Everything's back together and the mirror looks great and I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. Alright so I am really happy with it. I love it a lot. I'm liking it so far. It makes the truck look more rugged and tough than it already is. So here it is. That is the passenger mirror all installed. Now I don't really like the fact that this sticks out down here. I know I've heard people complain about the foam that comes with some of these mirrors that the foam is actually thicker than factory so, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the truck right now that's what it is and that's what it was so I did used to have these markers here but I don't think they actually did anything on the truck no they they're just reflectors because you can see the lights are on on my trailer and my markers are on and the puddle light so that would be nice at night when you're walking up to the truck. So it shows anything on the ground if somebody dropped anything. But otherwise, I am super happy with this. Now I'm just going to go do the driver's side, but you guys don't need to see that because it's the same process. Stay tuned because I'm going to have more things I'm installing on this truck. Just to kind of make it more, more of my vehicle, my truck, but also useful things that I feel that you need on a truck. Like for my instance I'm always towing a trailer I wanted to tow mirrors because I the old mirrors I felt were too small and too close to the truck so I couldn't see much behind me and I was always whenever I would turn make turns or back up there's always a blind spot that I would get to where I'm like I can't see it through the window and I can't see it in my mirror so I'm just gonna have to guess and that's usually when you hit things guys is when you guess so otherwise I will see you guys later. Bye.